Hi students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and Applying Chemical Ideas. This is video number 10 and we've moved into the organic chemistry section of our application module. This time we're going to be identifying some of the key functional groups and for this first video we're going to be looking at identifying the carbon-carbon double bond. This is a qualitative investigation and hopefully it's one that you're already familiar with so we can just very quickly look at how it is that we can conduct an investigation to test for the presence of uh, the carbon-carbon double bond in organic molecules. So I hope that what you've been thinking as you've looked at the beginning of this video is well the carbon-carbon double bond can actually be identified very easily um, with the addition of bromine water. Bromine water is a great test substance for unsaturated hydrocarbons, so I'll put that under there for unsaturated hydrocarbons, because what will happen with these unsaturated hydro hydrocarbons is they will undergo uh, an addition reaction. Structurally, if we uh, have, say, for example, um, let's call it pent 1ene, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, two, two. there we go. Um, so here's our double bond here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to add bromine water. Now there are a couple of variations on this and it's going to be interesting to see just how um, how many different options you're going to be expected to understand. But I would assume um, that one of the simple things that you can do with this is to just look at the way that the bromine is going to add across the double bond. So we've got a bromine on the first carbon and a bromine on the second carbon and then uh, three, four, five carbons and of course all our hydrogens around and I haven't added all of those in and of course um, you can certainly do that and I'm hoping by now that you'll you'll have uh, been understanding that really what we do with our organic compounds is we put in our functional groups we put in our number of carbons make sure we locate our functional groups and then we fill up all of our carbons with four bonds in total and anything that isn't already part of the functional groups that we've labeled we um, just add hydrogens in there so you can see this is pent one in and with the addition of bromine water in aqueous it becomes one two dibromo pentane now it is possible that we can look at the way that the bromine combines in water. You may see some variations on this where the bromine water actually forms uh, a little complex where the bromine is actually bonded to a hydroxyl group and they can actually add across that double bond as well. And there are occasions where we have seen um, that that uh, is a variation on this theme. I think it's probably important to have a bit of a chat in class about it and just focus on this more simple um, version of the addition reaction uh, with bromine water. Of course what happens if the substance that we're testing is a saturated hydrocarbon? Well firstly we won't have a reaction, uh, certainly we won't have a spontaneous reaction and uh, unless we have the presence of ultraviolet light and if we do then what we may find is we have a substitution reaction. And for a substitution reaction, what we're doing is one of the bromines is going to go into the organic structure and a hydrogen is going to come out. And therefore we're going to have a, a second product, not just an organic product. We're going to form um, hydrogen bromide. So this is uh, what we get if we have a saturated hydrocarbon. And this is why this is such a good test for the presence of the carbon-carbon double bond because the color of the bromine is sort of an orangey red to brown depending on how fresh and how, how long it's been 
sitting around. Uh, and that color will migrate into the from the aqueous layer into the organic layer. And then once it's in that organic layer, if there is a, a double bond or a triple bond present, then the bromine is going to add across that bond spontaneously and that will decolorize um, the mixture. Uh, and eventually uh, may in fact remove all of the color. So you might end up with two colorless uh, substances at the end of all of that. So this is a great test, the bromine water test, very simple test for identifying carbon-carbon double bonds. A couple of other things we need to look at, but thanks very much for watching.